Hello guys, welcome back and this is the sixth video of Firebase cloud messaging tutorial and till now we have done with the notification and we are we are able to send a notification using the Firebase console but you just cannot use Firebase console every time as it requires us to get the token and then we use the token to send push notification so what we will do in this video we will get the token and store it to our mysql database so that we can use our own server to send push notification so let's start this is our main activity and here i'll create an edit text and a button so delete it and create an edit text and a button let's give it an id like edit text email as user will enter the email here and in this button we will register the device by pressing this button so this button would be button register and change the text to register so user will enter the email and then press this register button and this will uh, send the generated token to mysql database so that's it now come to main activity and we don't have this text view token now as we have deleted it so remove this and instead we will create private edit text edit text email and private button button register so we have our edit text and button now remove this as well and this and remove this all now we don't need this broadcast receiver now or we can use it uh, let's leave it for now i don't know what i'll be doing with it so write edit text email equals to edit text and then find me by id r dot id dot edit text email and then button register equals to button find me by id r dot id dot button register then we will attach a click listener set on click listener and then new so we have our button register now here we will call a method send token to server now we will define the method here private void send token to server so that's it now here we will first check whether the user has entered the email or not so right string email equals to add text email dot get text dot to string dot trim so we have the email i will check if text utils dot is empty and will pass email and if it is empty we will display a toast so display toast like enter your email please and this is the Toast that we are generating and call show. Now, if the email is not empty, that means we'll come. We are going to. We will be inside the else part. So, here we will send the token to the server. But here first we need to check the token is generated or not. So, if the token is generated, the shared preference will return the token. Else, it will return null so we'll write set manager dot get instance dot 
get token and if it is not equals to null then we can send the token and else again we will display a toast like token is not generated so that's it now here we will send the token to server so for handling the network operation i'm going to use volley so first we will add volley to our file so so write volley j center now scroll down go to gradle and copy this and paste it inside your app level build.gradle file inside dependencies block so we'll paste it here and sync your project now go to again main activity.java and here we will create a string request so we will create a string request string request string request equals to new string request and then we will post the post method request dot method dot post and then here we need to pass the url and we haven't created our web services yet so i'm passing blank here for now and then a listener a success listener response listener and then an error listener so we have both the listeners now we will add this string request to request queue so here we will create a request queue request queue request queue equals to volley dot new request queue and pass the context so we have the request queue now we will add this string request to this request queue for more details about handling the network operations and performing operations in mysql database you can go to the playlist from the link given and in this playlist you can learn about all the database operations like user registration user login user logout using mysql database from your android application you can learn it so in that tutorial i used volley as well so let's add this string request to our request queue so we will write request queue dot add and we'll pass string request now that's it now we don't know what is the response for now and we don't have the url so to complete it we have to make our web services so this i will do in the next part of the video and if you're having any confusions or troubles you can leave your comments and i will try to help you so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video